Rain sensors really are designed to save water uh, for obvious reasons. They shut off after or during a rain event and then they do not allow the irrigation system to turn back on for a certain amount of time. There's two primary devices on the market. The one I have in my hand is really the more popular and probably the more reliable. Within this housing unit are a series of discs. During a rainfall event, those discs absorb the water and causes an interruption of the irrigation system. So the system shuts off and will not allow the system to come back on until these discs within this unit dry out. And then you can see I have wire and this wire actually is connected to my irrigation controller and interrupts the controller and stops the irrigation from coming on. The other device that you may see is what we call a weighted device. It's an open area, enters this little dish, and after a certain amount of rain, it weights it down and interrupts the irrigation system and won't allow it to turn on until all the, all the water in this unit is evaporated. One of the main problems with this little device is the fact that you can get other debris in there, plant material, seeds, and it's going to weigh the device down and it's going to interrupt the irrigation system. This next unit that I want to show you is what we call a wireless rain sensor. So I wire that to my controller and then here is my rain device and this is mounted to a gutter in a suitable location on your property. And here again, this is the, the disc type of a device. This little unit here is communicating with my clock. And on these devices, I can actually adjust how much rain I want to enter this device before the system won't turn on. Where these devices are located is really important because either one of them are gonna be influenced by the conditions. You want it mounted in a location on a roof so that there's no interference with the sprinkler system. If it's in full sun, then both of these are gonna dry out a lot faster. The system will come on you know, in a shorter period of time. But at the same time, if your irrigation system is in all shade, you don't wanna mount this in full sun. So what we're really trying to find is a location that's open, that's relatively homogeneous for the entire irrigation system. For more information, visit your local extension office or visit our website at kansasgreenyards.org.